So a lot of people aren't the biggest fans of Samsung's voice assistant called Bigsby, and by default, not a big fan of the hardware button that's used to summon it. Now you can root the phone and change the system permissions to change what the button actually does, but that's a lot of work, and it turns out there's actually an easier way. Apps have been popping up in the Play Store that, thanks to their use of the accessibility options on the phone, are able to actually kind of hijack the button and make it do a different action before Bigsby can even launch. Things like launch the camera, open a specific app. Some of them can even launch Google Assistant. Now, quick disclaimer, this will actually disable Bigsby. So if you do use Bigsby, you won't be able to by doing this. Um, so there's that. Also, Samsung really doesn't want you to do this, uh, so they are probably actively finding ways to stop these apps from working, and so at any moment these apps could just not work thanks to a Samsung update or some other measure that Samsung has taken. With all that in mind, if you'd like to still give it a try, in the meantime, head to the Play Store and search for Bigsby Remapper. You'll see a few in here, and you can try the other ones if the one that I'm showing you no longer works, is taken down, etc., or just doesn't work for you. But the one that we'll try now is the one that I found with the highest ratings called Bigsby Button Remapper. Once you install it, you're going to open the app. Then we can turn on the feature by tapping the toggle at the top right. It also warns you that you should not have any other remapping software on at the same time, so only try to use one of these apps at a time. Once it's on, tap the three dots at the top right and select Go to Accessibility. You can also manually search for this in Settings if using a different app and it doesn't have this option. Once there, look under Services at the bottom and you'll see two options for this app. Each is a different method that they use. One is more stable and one has a little less delay and is faster. Tap on the less delay one first and we'll turn that on. And then we can try that first, and if it doesn't work well, then you can go back here and turn on the more stable one instead. Once that's on, you can go back, then tap the Bigsby button action option, and choose from that list what you want it to do. Once you choose it, simply hit the Bigsby button, and you can confirm if it worked. There you go, there's that for anybody who wanted to give that a try. Uh, again, keep in mind that Samsung will probably kill this pretty soon. Uh, but you can try those other apps and pretty much everything is going to work in a very much the same way that this one does. Uh, if they work at all, depending on what Samsung does. Keep that in mind. Um, but if you did like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, tips, tricks, reviews, all that fun stuff, head to my channel. And if you like what you see there, please subscribe. Also, don't forget to tap the bell to get notifications when I do new videos. Otherwise, I get lost in your subscriptions and that's no fun. Um, but regardless, as always, thanks for watching.